guys, it's coffee time. Ow. I hate when I do that so much. You're like so excited to drink your coffee, right? You're like in the zone, it's coming toward you, and then it just hits your teeth, and you're like, I don't want it anymore. It's been sullied. No, I still want it. It's fine. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So while I talk today, I'm going to fold blankets because so true to Dodger fashion, the blankets that were right there hiding my Windows 7 premium home edition. Uh, yesterday I said that I would go fold them and I totally didn't. I forgot about it entirely. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to fold them on my show. You can't stop me. What? It's so funny because, like, I went in to Best Buy, and I'm really sad that the age of netbooks is over. Like, I thought netbooks were the coolest things. I like tablets, but they just don't feel, they're not, like, solid. Does that make sense? It doesn't feel like there's a structure there. Like, I don't feel like I can just leave it on a table and know that it won't explode while I'm gone. Netbooks, you know, just, like, tiny laptops, and I really liked that. And everybody's saying, well... You know, you can always just get one of those fancy keyboards for your tablet. And I'm like, yeah, but it's not like it's not like a tiny laptop. It's not the same. It doesn't have the same weight to it. The same. That was a terrible folding. You know what? Whatever. I don't care. I only have three blankets to fold. So whatever. It's going directly into a chest anyway, so it's fine. Um, but anyway, so I went to Best Buy because we were looking for. We have my 360 controller that one of you lovelies sent me uh, that I just love so much. And Mike got all jelly and he was like, I'm going to go get my own. And I was like, good. I don't want you borrowing mine anymore anyway. And then we can't find any that are wired like this one. Um, all of the ones that we can find are wireless, which I keep saying, well, why don't we just look online because I bet you can find them online. Uh, but we've been unsuccessful in finding more wired controllers, which is silly. And, uh, I'm, uh, well, the last time we talked about this was like a week ago, I guess. So maybe he's found them at this point. He just didn't tell me because he's callous that way. But, uh, yeah, so we went to Best Buy and while he was looking for that stuff and Ro was looking in the movies and stuff, I went and looked at laptops because... My last laptop was like a desktop replacement laptop. It's what I started doing this show on, actually. And it died. It completely died. And I know that I run my laptops really hard, which is also just an excuse for I don't take as meticulous of care of my laptops as I should, um, given how often I am on the internet and doing all sorts of things. Like, I should be doing a lot more to make sure that it's protected. And I protect all of them, but I don't do things like consistent defracts and things like that. Uh, anyway, so that laptop I had for a couple of years and it was really good while I was doing a lot of design stuff and um, set design and all that. But then it just, it will not turn on at all. It won't, it won't. So I need to take all of the info off of that laptop and then I, I, I still want something that's more portable that feels like I can work on it and not shatter it. So I was looking at the laptops and the guy came over and he was like, hey, can I like help you? And I was like, I'm not gonna buy anything today. And he was like, oh, okay. all right. <laughs> I was like, I just, just need to know that right now. I'm not like in the position to buy something right now, but I'm looking because I want a laptop. I don't want a tablet, but I want a lightweight, smaller laptop. He was like, all right. So he starts, like, he showed me a lot of all of the laptops that are coming out that are, like, fancy Windows 8 compatible laptops. And I was like, oh, goodness. And one of them is a laptop with a touchscreen. So it's basically the same as having a tablet with a keyboard attached. Uh, and he was like, yeah, I feel like, you know, it's, I think it's going to be really cool. I think it's gonna, like, I don't quite get it yet, but like playing around with it, I think it's gonna be really cool. And so I started like messing around with the interface. I was like, I, 
What is happening here? How on earth do you organize anything on this system? I'm so confused. And we were we were t not not with the guy who was trying to help me because he was he was full on in Windows 8 mode, which I get it's his job. But later we were talking about how, you know, um, successful Windows products skip generations. So like Windows 7 is great. Windows 8 probably going to be terrible. I I don't I don't know. But probably and then window by Windows 9 they'll have listened to all the feedback from Windows 8 and they'll fix a bunch of things. And that's the idea. Um but man, he was like, "Oh yeah, this is I mean, look at these lap. I mean, it's a touch screen laptop." And Windows 8 is like crazy interesting. I was like, uh-huh. He kept using those non-committal adjectives like, it's really interesting, you know? It's very new. And I was like, yeah, but no one here is saying, I think it's really good. <laughs> no one said that. They were all just like, yeah, it's really interesting. Like, I don't quite get it yet, but it's really, it's an interesting thing, you know? It's, it's very interesting. I was like, mm-hmm. Um, and then even when you preface, even when, when you're talking to somebody at a store, you say, I'm not in a position to buy something right now. I just need some information. And if I see something that I like, I will come back here um, to buy it from you. I always wind up trying to pressure you to buy something. I'm like, homie. I'm going to go play with your Wii and then I'm going to leave. And that is not a euphemism, right? Like, <laughs> I don't, I'm not buying anything right now. And he was like, oh man, you got to check this out and look at all this and got all these things. And I was like, bye. It was very nice. It was very nice. It's just like, uh, this is why I wanted to just kind of trot around and like mess with all the laptops and then peace out. But like three different dudes had asked me if I needed help at that point. And I was like, fine, tell me about your laptops. And he was like, ugh, ugh, never again. If I'm not buying anything, I'm not going to waste their time anymore because I feel bad. And then they really want me to buy something. And I'm like, Oops. but on the plus side, guys, today I finally got a Crunchyroll account and it is the best. I had no intention of getting a Crunchyroll account. It was it was like a horrible anime snowball that happened today because I can't remember which of you it was, but one of you uh, tweeted to me asking if I had an account on my anime list.net. And I was like, I remember going there, but I don't think I made an account. So I went there and I made an account. And then it became like this weird obsessive thing where I was like, I need to remember every anime that I've ever watched in my lifetime, which is like impossible. Like it's still, it's still not full. I'm just like, oh, oh no, how do I do this, you know? So I'm just like, oh, like trying so hard to remember all of the things I've watched. And I, I just thought of one that's not on there. Like there's so many. And then I was talking with Erin Lee and I was like, dude, do you have an account on my anime list? And she was like, yeah, but I got stressed out because I couldn't remember all the anime that I ever watched. And I was like, that's my problem right now. So then we started like copying off of each other <laughs> being like, oh, that's right. I've watched that. I forgot about that. And then you can, if you're looking at somebody else's list, you can just hit add next to the name of an anime and you're just like swapping back and forth and being like, oh yeah, that one. Oh, blah, blah, blah. Um, and then... Uh, I remembered how much she loved Crunchyroll. And I was like, all right, sell it to me. Is Crunchyroll actually worth it, like, for me to have an account with Crunchyroll? And she was like, I feel like it's worth it because I watch a lot of anime and you can get it in HD. And if you have, like, an actual paid account, then um, you have access to a lot more anime and they come out, like, at the same time that it comes out in Japan so you can keep up with stuff that's going on in this season. And I was like... Hmm. So I went there and they had one of those, you know, free trial thingies. You still had to, you know, give them your info, but it was a free trial and I was like, all right, all right. So I'm trying it out and I love it so far. I'm not, this is not endorsed by Crunchyroll. I'm not being paid to say this. 
uh, but I I really like it so far, and I normally I normally find that paid services are not worth it for me. So I mean it. This might just be one of those, oh man, I'm going to use this all the time, and then I only use it for like a couple of days, and then I realize that it's not really worth it for me. Uh, but right now, I'm like really happy with it. Every single anime that I've tried to find on there, I've found like immediately. And I've watched two anime that I had never heard of that wound up being great. Um, so I don't know, I got really excited today. I just like kind of curled up into a ball and watched a lot of anime. I got so many things for my hair. I know that's off topic, but we wound up going to Rite Aid and, uh, and I was like, oh, I need some hair ties. And I was like, oh, okay. So we went over to like the hair tie area and I was like, oh, and I need some hair clips. Oh, and I need some of those little, like those, those little breakage thingies. And I need some of these. And I got just like a universe of stuff. And they had, um, like Tom's knockoffs which I had been looking for for a while because I want to do something like kind of cool with them. And I was like, what? They have two for 20 knockoffs. I got so excited. So I bought two of them and it wound up being less than two for 20. It wound up being a two for 10. I don't know why, but I wasn't gonna. She was like, oh, it's actually cheaper than that right now because one of the pairs that you bought is like, beep, 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 beep. And I was like, cool, that's awesome, here's money. <laughs> then I wound up with two new pairs of shoes that I did not need. <sighs> and a lot of hair ties. Anywho, uh, yeah, so that's, uh, <laughs> I just ranted for a while about windows, I'm sorry. But, um, yeah, I hope you guys had a good day. And I will talk to you again tomorrow. Okay. Bye-bye. Mwah. <laughs>